So here uh, we are having this particular, this is the particular format in which the data gets stored sequentially, right? So now here you can see that this is the sequential way of storing. Now let's suppose if you have to add this particular quantity field, okay? For example, let us suppose if you want to add all the material having all this quantity together, right? Then in that case, you will have to traverse from here to here up to this 20. Again, from this 20, again, you are going to traverse and going to come to this 30. Again, traversing from kg3, hlb, and coming to 40. So, like that, you will have to traverse. So, program has to traverse from 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 60, and 60 to 70. Like this, program has to traverse, right? But if it is there in the column storage, how the data gets stored in the column store? See. It gets stored sequentially only, but the column wise, it's going to get stored. The column wise, it's going to get stored. So, one, two, three, four, five will be storing over here, and then it will be storing over here, like this in the sequential format. Actually, this is how in the disk data gets stored. So, you can see that over here and then the unit.